Registering to participate in an IHSMA festival is a simple task. First, log into the IHSMA restricted portion of the website. We call it Festival Central. You'll need your user ID and password to do so. If you don't have one, contact the IHSMA office and we'll get one issued to you and get you set up and ready to go. Once logged in, select School Options and then select the festival you wish to participate in. For the purposes of this orientation, we're going to select Marching Band Festival. Please note that once you select your festival, a new, a new menu will appear in the left-hand portion of the screen. From that menu, select Registration and then Entry Edit. The Marching Band Festival registration screen looks like this. You'll note that on this screen your assigned site, as well as the date of the festival, will appear. For this registration, you'll note that you'll need to input the number of participants and then indicate if you will not be using flags, pom-poms, rifles, or other auxiliary. Then simply hit Submit. This should take you to your invoice. If it doesn't, simply select the invoice from the registration menu item in the left-hand column of your screen. As you view your invoice at this point, please notice a few things. The first thing to notice is that there is a button at the bottom center of the invoice that says Submit PO. Secondly, Note that it clearly states that your registration process at this point is not complete and that you must submit a purchase order or check number before your registration is finalized. Edits and changes can be made up through this point. At this point, it should be clearly understood that you are not registered for the event. So let's get the registration finalized. Click on the Submit PO button, and now you'll see a PO or check number submission screen. Please note that in addition to submitting a PO or check number, you are also asked to certify that your performance complies with U.S. copyright law and that all appropriate licensing has been secured, if needed, for your performance. If you, are also, you are also certifying that you agree to provide proof of any needed licensing to the IHSMA office upon completion of this registration. We'll talk more about the copyright verification process later. Schools whose performances are not compliant with U.S. copyright law will not be allowed to participate. If compliant, select the I attest to the statement above checkbox and then enter your purchase order or check number in the appropriate box and click on the submit button. This should then take you back to your invoice. If not, select invoice from the left hand menu under registration. You should now see that your invoice is complete. The purchase order number or check number you submitted appears on the invoice. The date and time you made the submission is recorded, as well as the name of the person who submitted the information. The copyright certification you attested to is also included on your invoice. If you can see all of this information on the invoice, you can be assured that you are now properly registered for the festival in a timely fashion and no penalty fees will be assessed. Please print off a copy of this invoice and remit it to your school's business office or booster club for payment. Print off a second copy of the invoice for your records. Should there ever be a discrepancy, this completed invoice is your proof to the IHSMA office that you were indeed registered for the festival in a timely manner. Every festival offered by the Iowa High School Music Association has a registration and penalty deadline. To aid teachers with this process, the IHSMA office provides teachers a festival registration deadline and penalty deadline poster. Each deadline is an online submission deadline that expires at midnight of the deadline date. Registrations completed prior to the midnight of the registration deadline incur no penalty. Registrations completed after the registration deadline, but prior to the penalty deadline, incur a penalty that amounts to 50% of the registration fee up to a maximum of $25 per school, band, vocal, and orchestra programs all combined. Once the penalty deadline hits, teachers can no longer register to participate in the festival using the online system. Participation is not denied, but at this point, they will need to contact the ITSMA office to get registered. The penalty fees for registering after this point are significant. The fee assessed for registering after the penalty deadline for marching band is $100. All state is $100 per student. Jazz band, jazz choir, show choir are $100 per ensemble. 
and Solo Small Ensemble Festival is double the registration fee. To make the point of how significant these fees are, let's look at a couple of real life examples. The registration fee for the IGSMA State Marching Band Festival is $175. Add to that the $25 penalty for missing the registration deadline, and then add the additional penalty for missing the penalty deadline of $100. And we now have a total due that now amounts to $300. Let's do another example using the IHSMA Solo Small Ensemble Festival. The entry fee for this festival is $12. Add to that a registration deadline penalty of $6, and then a penalty deadline fee of $24, which is double the registration fee, and you now have a total due of $42 for an, for an entry that was initially only $12. No administrator is pleased when these fees are assessed, especially when they are so easily avoided. Teachers need to be aware of the IGSMA registration penalty policy that is included at the bottom of their deadline poster and that is included in each IGSMA bulletin issued. As a safeguard to aid directors in avoiding missing the registration and penalty deadlines, IHSMA has devised an intent to register form. This form, if filled out and returned to the IHSMA office, serves two purposes. First, it provides the IHSMA office with accurate contact information for the staff at each of our member high schools so that important information can be communicated to our teachers in a timely and efficient manner. Please fill this form out in cooperation with your other music staff and return one joint form to the IHSMA office. Please be as complete as possible. Secondly, this form it tells IHSMA which events you intend to participate in. There is no commitment at this point, only your intention. If you don't know whether or not you'll be participating in a given festival, it's always best to indicate that yes, you will intend, you intend to participate. It's much better to be safe than sorry. If this form is returned, the IHSMA office on the day following a registration deadline will send out an email reminder to all directors and their administration who intended to participate in the festival but have not successfully completed their registration online. Then, on the day of the penalty deadline, a second email is sent to those same directors and administrators alerting them to the fact that their registration has still not yet been received and that it must be done prior to midnight to avoid the large penalties associated with missing the penalty deadline. Courtesy emails are also sent out prior to each deadline to all directors regardless of whether or not they've registered, reminding directors that the deadline is imminent.